Uh, just a little update then. So, <clears throat> on to... Looks like the lower fuels are large with the retainer in for the intakes at the back end and side walls as well with gloves and uh, some intake doors as well. Parts look pretty cool, don't look bad at all. Just give that a little clean up. Uh, and I'm actually just going to make one. Just make one side uh, and then see how that goes before I move on to the other side. Uh, as far as the kit is concerned then, <clears throat> up to date. So started with armament if you've been following me on the Tornado SIG, the special interest group on Facebook. Uh, and if you've not, then I will fill you in on where I'm up to. So the sprues are now looking really, really empty. Apart from the odd fuel that I've got left now. Uh, because uh, the majority of the stuff has already been built, which is cool. So... So, just a little quick catch up then. Let me just get rid of that for you. And da, 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 I'll move that out of the way as well. Now then, let me just tip that a little bit further down. Okay. Doing a Clive look. Doing a Clive. So, started with armament. And <clears throat> the reason that I backwards build those uh, is so that I can just literally get them out of the way. Because it, it's just an absolute bugbear of mine. So... Uh, we've got all the missiles now built, primed, painted, glossed, deckled and weathered. Okay, so <clears throat> that's, uh, which size is my camera on? Is it on that side? It, it's a little bit awkward actually looking back to front. So two of those, okay. Now the majority of the armament that I've got on this bird... Uh, is actually surplus to requirement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sheet of foam uh, and cut out some indents uh, and sell them as a complete package. Pop them on eBay uh, and sell them as a package. So I don't know how I'm focusing, uh, but I've got two of these, uh, which again are surplus to requirement. I've got a fuel tank. Uh, and again, all painted, prime gloss deckled, all the lot, okay. Now, <laughs> when these actually do get fit onto the bird, the chances are, is that I will add some oil washing uh, onto top of matte coat, okay. Just to give them another little bit of texture. Uh, a surplus to requirement part, uh, but again, all all built, uh, painted and deckled and everything, all done. Now then, we've got a couple of a uh, couple of these as well. I think these are X X nine sidewinders. I'm not entirely sure. Another another pod. I think it's an ECM. All done. So actually what I did, if you have a look, I did one in black and one in grey. Just to sort of like give those a little bit of, a little bit of difference. Okay. Then we've got two. We've got two of these. And again, what I've done there, just, just to make sure that everything's okay. See, the problem with the kit is you do get, obviously you get pylons, but you get pylons for for what's actually going to go onto the kit. So with that particular one, uh, I'm just going to put my hand up there, back of my hand. I've actually got a little shard of cocktail stick uh, sticking out. You can see that there. Uh, and again, because there's no pylon for these, so it's just a matter of, locating it on and actually i mean i must be quite good at woodwork because that's absolutely solid uh got two of these 
one two okay and that is the separator that i need and again you can see there that that's all all finished uh, i do need to gloss that actually and give that a little bit of a pin wash and keep that separate uh, and again the the pods that i've got so one of them is in grey with pylon attached already uh, and you can probably see there that that is decaled, pin washed and everything uh, and that leaves that one which is exactly the same but I've gone black again on tips if you look black on tips whereas that one I've gone grey and it's the grey one that I'm going to put onto this bird so this particular part that'll be going into the uh, sales box uh, boss pod uh, boss pod all done and again you can see pylon on okay and all deckled underneath which i know can be uh, difficult to see but that's that's going on the bird as well uh, another one of the uh, i think they're x9s i'm not entirely sure I'll be going in the sales box uh, and then last but not least i've got uh, two sets of these uh, already attached onto rails and again i've drilled my holes out for for the rails into the belly and they will be going on underneath so two of those okay and with me being a backwards builder that's it now, they're done. I don't have to faff about, I don't have to build the bird and then think, right, you know, what's next sort of thing. What Right, let's start on ordinance. Uh, because it's all, it's all done. What I found out was that once I'd started back into Obby, obviously for the first couple of builds, I didn't think, oh, you know, I'm going to be a backwards builder. I just started building the kits. But... By the time I'd, I'd sort of put my heart and soul, if you will, into the actual bird, when it got round to ordnance time, quite literally, couldn't be asked. I mean, you know what I mean? How much of an excuse do I want? But then, obviously, evolved the idea into actually making it part of the mainstay. So that's why I backwards build. So I can get rid of that. Okay. Uh, next one is that, which you can see is one of engines, and uh, that one's actually buckets, buckets in the closed position. Okay, and it's actually got the ring on there. Uh, and if I just toss that out of there, obviously that is going to sit into there somehow. And again, different metallics, black base state. Okay, and then some different greys and different metallics around there just to sort of like try and bring that to life a little bit which turned out all right okay then mark so where's your other engine <clears throat> voila there it is and you can see that that one has got buckets uh, that's been slightly wound out uh, they can be done mechanically i've been advised on that little shout uh, thanks for that, for lads that shouted that out for me on the Tornado Special Interest Group on Facebook. But again, it's basically the same same sort of configuration. Uh, that particular part there, that's wrong. I think that's the oil. It's either the oil pump or the oil filter. And actually on this GR4, it should be circular, should be round. But <clears throat> not to worry, we're not going to get into politics of what's right and what's wrong. I'm more interested in how this kit's going together. Kit so far has been absolutely two thumbs up, superb. Okay, moving on. We've got front wheel uh, housing. Uh, and again, that's just your standard affair. You know what it's like when we build these kits. It's basically a plate that you put the sides on. Okay, and then for this one I've had to stick the uh, the undercarriage in so far but again you can see uh, you know nice bit of detail there with light with light fitting uh, where's my finger there it is okay I hope that you're catching that uh, and again the detail actually on the plate is is absolutely superb okay <coughs> done that 
Now, what you probably, well, you might not be thinking, you say, right, I can't wait while he gets to office <coughs> and see what he's done in there. I haven't actually started the office yet. When I say that I'm a backwards builder, starting with ordnance, uh, while I'm on, on with that, I'll mask the canopy off to get that done and dusted, get that out of the way because I'm in that sort of euphoric -y type, you know, oh, no kit kind of place. Okay, so masking the canopy off. And then I'll literally start and get as many sub-assemblies together as I possibly can. Now, if I can get them built, prime paint to gloss, decal, da -de da to a finished state, let's call it a finished state, to save me saying that every two minutes, then I will do. But if I can't, if it's actually part of the main build, uh, then obviously I'll just sort of build those parts along. What I find is when, when you're going through your book and you're turning the page and you're going, right, that's next, turning the page, right, that's next. When, when I build in this particular sequence, which is trying to get things built together, number one, at the end, it saves time because... Once I've got, you know, a few of these bits that I've subassembled here in front of me, slot in, glow, slot in, glow, lid on, glow, you know, piece of tape, 20 minutes, rock hard, next bit, done, done, done. And all the subassemblies, even though they all take, I've been on it a week now, so even they all sort of take a week, actually when it comes to, let's call it day seven, when it comes to day seven, it is literally clip, clip, clock, clock, done. And it's built. Okay. Uh, intakes, uh, again, painted white. Uh, and now I have put a little bit of masking tape uh, on that side. Okay. Uh, and the reason being for that, uh, it's a little bit anal. And don't think I'm some kind of snob when it comes to building kits, but basically... There is a line in there uh, that didn't warrant my attention, in my opinion. But that when I held it up to light, I could just see a little bit of a little bit of light shining through there when I was looking down there. Now, once that's all configured into the bird, you can't see down there anyway. Uh, so it's pointless me doing it. I'm not one of them that says, "Oh, you know, I know it's there." Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And on this particular instance, I, I genuinely could not be asked. Uh, so they're done uh, and they're ready uh, and once we start looking at <clears throat> let me just have a little look here once we start playing uh, about what's what you know then it will all literally come together like this uh, and then my other engine obviously at the back are you still on camera you are and then my other engine into there and you can see that by doing all these sub-assemblies, painted as well, and once they're all done, it, it literally does go together like, like Lego. Uh, next up uh, was the tail. Uh, and again, completely done. Okay, all the little parts uh, and on this on this kit, uh, you can see that we've got a little bit of a little bit of rudder action going off there. It's poseable, I suppose, and either either. The one good thing about this particular Italiari kit uh, is just up here, just under my finger, uh, there are some uh, tiny little pieces to go on there and you don't get those with the 48 kit, uh, but they are built into the Revel 32 scale bird. But for this particular one, you've got to, you've got to fit them on. Dropsies, okay. Uh, next is that one uh, and again you know when you're doing one you might as well do them both so that's main undercarriage housing which was actually primed in same color as that which i think is a, it's a tamiya sky but i might have mixed it up at some point uh trying to get some kind of interior green for a previous build uh, so I primed it in that and then added some shading areas and a splash of white uh, and then the aluminium ram that's in there get that a little bit of obviously a little bit of chrome and that or a bit of vallejo chrome uh done both of those uh there is a yellow patch on there i'm not sure you can you can see it there look okay uh, and i'm going to see if i've got some surplus decals as well just to give that a little bit of a title uh, rear stabilizers 
uh, dead simple out there, it's just glue it together, you know, put some tape on it, sand it flat on edges, job done. Uh, and then last one, uh, and again, I have got two just to show you there. Now, the one in 48 tornado from Revel, the level five of which I've built chuffing loads, I think I'm up to about number 12 now. Uh, that particular part there is an absolute nightmare. And if if you have built that kit, it has either beaten you, nod, yeah, nod again, or you've beaten it. Uh, and I have actually beaten it on quite a few, quite a few occasions. Uh, and again, I've got the option just to sort of take that out. Okay, so that I can paint it. And then it is quite simply very very nice look at that i mean you just can't can't beat that can you okay and again the detail on the wing is exactly the same as the detail on the rest of the kit if you've got this kit or if you've looked at it in shop window you know with your nose up against the window and you thought i wish well i wished and i had to save up a full year i think if i if i can find that other video i'll put a put a link in the description uh but yeah, you know, wife and two kiddie winkers, mortgages and two cars to run, then these 100 quid kits don't just come about every weekend, do they? So I had to save up for it. Uh, nice little be bit of detail inside here with all your pins and screws. Uh, and again, for that, the, for this particular part, I have used super glue just to give it that extra little bit of, little bit of rigidity, okay? Dun dun dun, armament, engines, bottom half of interior, uh, landing gear, front landing gear, tail, flaps on wings, slats and rear stabilisers. So you can see that actually the majority of it is sort of built up to press. Uh, there is a part where I will have to stop building sub-assemblies because the parts that are left on the sprue, uh, let me just see if I can find a couple just to show you. Yeah, I can. So a couple of parts that are left on the sprue, you know, these particular parts here, look. Okay, you can't sub-assemble them once, once that wing's on and they clip on. So actually when it comes round to doing that, so they might as well stay on the sprue for now. Okay, uh, and I'm glad I've picked that up because I've just found a part that I need, so I'll pop that to one side. Uh, what else have we got? Intake doors, they're primed. Uh, I've got a photo X ladder on this particular kit. Uh, and, and yeah, we're, we're actually okay. We're okay. So that's where I'm up to. How long have I taken? I've taken 20 minutes here, time up nearly. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you're not going to see me ugly mug tonight. Uh, and I am now going to da, 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 crack on with... Uh, there it is. I'm going to crack on with this. Okay. Scraping these sides just to make sure that they're absolutely flat. I've got my instruction book already. Uh, and then again, you can see if I just, in fact, I'll whip it round. You can see the next part that I'm up to there is fitting that lot together. I think one of the only disappointments that I've got is that it's that okay and that's the bottom plate and i've got to explain myself and i disappointed disappointed why because obviously when you're detailing a couple of these up you know to a nice standard and they are gonna sit inside thus like that then you'd sort of want the option really of sort of being this this particular plate here uh that that back part you'd want the option of either, having it either transparent or uh there right so that actually that that half to there was one section and that was another section so that you could either put put it on uh magnetize it cut it you know try, if, if if they made that particular part a transparent part I'd be very, very tempted to leave it transparent to show the engine that you can see. 
uh, because obviously once that's on at the top like that uh, you, you're going to be really really limited on what you can see in there okay really limited uh, so if that if that particular if that section there had been transparent uh, it, it would have been a lot better I'm not going to rush this because down at club we have got a chap smashing chap uh, and he can actually print resin parts and I'm just wondering <clears throat> if you're watching it Trev uh, whether we can sort of replicate this part in clear in clear resin uh, or would it give the same sort of detail because the detail is is superb you can see it there look i'm i'm struggling to see my screen because you're on selfie camera and i've angled my phone right down uh, but i know that you can see the detail there detail is absolutely fantastic uh, and i'm just wondering whether i'd be able to give him that before i start clunking everything in and say print me that off mate in uh in clear resin will you i mean how cool would that be and then the other option i suppose would be to sort of cut it off across across the line there cut that from the inside but again when i look at the line i'm cutting straight across straight straight across there straight across there is it going to be a perfect cut <sighs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, this is a hundred pound plus kit, and the last thing I want to be doing is butchering it and making the bollocks on it because you know the the too expensive aren't they to start sort of faffing with and playing with. I think if it were a thirty quid Revel GR four, I might be tempted to have a go. But obviously, you don't get engines in that particular kit. Uh. So, so I am in a sort of catch-22 at the minute. Uh, and I know that he's not playing out tonight, so he's not, he's not on his phone. Uh, I'm going to crack on. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, next time that uh, you tune in, we'll be looking a little bit of something like. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Catch you later. Cheers.